Hi, welcome to Mama's House. Welcome to our channel. I'm Tanya and my best friend's name is Monashuk. Today we're headed to Colorado. We're flying to Denver, Colorado to visit her son, one of her twins who moved there this recently. And we're excited to be going to, on a trip. We're excited to be visiting her son and we're excited to be leaving our state but the ironic thing is we are leaving our state of wisconsin which we had 68 degrees today temperature it was beautiful it is beautiful outside and we're flying into denver and i got a winter storm watch alert on my phone for denver colorado so we're leaving a snowy state and potentially going into another snowstorm but that's okay colorado is beautiful and we are excited to head on our trip so I'm waiting for Joe, her husband, Monoshock's husband, to come pick me up. And then we're headed to the airport. So join us on our journey. Here's my luggage for the trip. I have to take work stuff because I have to work. And so Joe is coming, he'll be here any minute. So I'm gonna head out and meet him outside. Ready to take us, Joe? Yeah, <laughs> chop chop. Okay. You got your purse? Mom is trying to say hi to our friend. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goodbye. Hi, husband. Bye, Orlean. Our chauffeur, our Uber for today. Oh my gosh. Только поставь, Мануша, я буду держать. Не нервничай. Спасибо, дорогая. Мануша, пошли. <laughs> no headrest. I, I didn't realize I was in a movie set. There's no headrest. <laughs> they took it out. one of Monotrox twins, Nashan, and we are excited to be traveling. The airport's full, as you can see. <laughs> okay, Mike, you got, you got everything, money, purse, credit cards, tickets? We don't need tickets, we got each your bag. Go, let's go. Bye. What are you doing? I'm rich, Tanya. Look, I still have from Mexico money. <laughs> Dollar bills. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we can go a lot of ways with that joke right there. Hello. Hello. We're leaving. We're getting the heck out of Dodge. I know. Look like we're going from um, warmer place to cold place. Look like uh, then we're having a snowstorm. And, and we just had the big thaw this week. It was 68 degrees yesterday. That's, my son's like, I don't understand, mama. Is winter's over with? I'm like, don't, don't worry, honey. It can still snowstorm here. <laughs> but we're going to Denver and I got a winter storm watch alert on my phone. plane was very very hot unbelievable hot but we made it now we gotta see if there's snow <laughs> i hope not i'm You're not ready? done with snow i didn't bring my boots <laughs> <laughs> or my snow pants <laughs> all right attention on the top course attention on the top course Mission. We are on a mission. We got stuck behind some slow pokes. <laughs> slow people. I think they maybe they had a little too much to drink on the flight. Could be. 
because they had a they had a St. Patrick's Day mask on. We're going to get our bags. I lost Monoshock. I lost you, Monoshock, for a minute. I don't know what kind of car does he have. Monoshock. What kind of car does he have? Таня, вам здесь темно. Две кровати. Вон Таня включила телевизор. Стул. Сико. Friends, today is the first day. We a little bit stayed in a hotel too long, but wow. now we are trying to go and eat somewhere. Stay. I had to work, so we had. I had to stay. So. And I was just lazy. Tanya was working, and I was lazy. We're going to go explore the city and find some place to eat because we're both hungry. It's way past breakfast and lunch. <laughs> No, Why not? it's cold. <laughs> it's sunny though. My jopa will be cold. in the cheesecake factory i'm a little picky eater so i said we even though had an agreement with tanya that we will go restaurants which only in denver area not no restaurants that we have already in milwaukee but i'm a very picky eater so i decided like tanya i don't think will be a problem if we go to a cheesecake factory so uh, waitress came and she's like what you ladies wanna order and I'm like um, I think I will order chicken ma madeira my darn accent always selling me off and she said you so cute way said madeira what nationality are you I'm like I'm Armenian and she's like well, how long are you in the States 27 years and your accent still there yes I will go to the grave with my accent so I am not absolutely not upset when people said I have an accent really that's how people recognize me with my unique accent we forgot to what did you order chicken Madeira it's a little bit different than in Wisconsin in Wisconsin, chicken Madeira is very tasty. I this agree. One. This 
one is a little, is a little different. different and sauce is different too. It's still good. It's not bad. No, but Wisconsin food is tasty for us, I guess. Where That's yes, true. Wisconsin has quality cheeses and beers and French fries and homegrown eggs. At Manu Shots in Manu Shots in Tanya's farm. Mm -hmm. So I posted on our Instagram account our chicken. I gave scraps to my chickens and people were questioning why the chickens were eating eggshells. And to me, I guess it's such a common place that I don't realize that people don't understand maybe that after you use the egg, you save the shells and feed it back to your chickens because it gives them calcium supplement. And then you don't have to buy calcium supplement and that helps to increase the strength of their eggs. So, and chickens, are, they will eat their own eggs. You kind of have to train some varieties not to eat their own eggs. Um, that's why nesting boxes are helpful so that they can't get access to their eggs. But yeah, chickens will eat their own eggshells and it's a good thing because it makes their eggshells stronger. Интересный шкаф, шаг. Какой интересный. State Capitol building. It's a really beautiful building, actually. Some kind of fountain over there. I don't know. The fountain is not working. Question. Disappointed in front of the capital. I turned 16 and I have nowhere to go because my parents have passed away. And I really need to get my seizure medication. And I also need. Here. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. You guys have a great day. You too. God bless you too. I love you guys. So, the biggest disappointment was that in front of the state capitol building there is a lots of cans and inside the tent there is a uh, uh, people homeless. homeless people it's and I think it's sad it's very sad it you know it seems there's like the a homeless la large homeless population in Denver from the appearances of people we're seeing on the bus and in the streets and then that free bus it's like a full of uh, homeless people in the bus sick Look like it. I can see like mentally ill. The guy is talking to himself, uh, and strange people. Unfortunately, let's go get to the bus by now. We made it to the Union Station. Feels like the apocalypse happened, and there's not many people left on this earth. Everything is empty such a strange and eerie feeling. We're in Union 
Union Station, Union Station in Denver, Colorado. It's train station. This is Hello. This is the train station. It's quite empty. like a mall. It's a mall. Huh. Hot topics. It's a dead mall. Hi, we're in uh, we're in downtown Denver trying we're headed to Hertz to get our rental car. Um, as we're walking through downtown Denver it really feels like a ghost town to me compared to what life used to be. And then um, it's very, very sad, but there's a lot of homeless individuals. It looks like there's probably a good amount of addicts on the street. Um, so it's just a disturbing scenario. It's a disturbing scene to look at because obviously for many, many reasons, but um, it's, it's like, I don't know, to me it's like the world's gone backwards in a sense and normal life well we know normal life has shifted but I was thinking it was coming back a little bit more it doesn't appear to be in its March of 2021 um, there's a huge snowstorm predicted for tomorrow and Sunday so we came in the nick of time for more snow we just ran away from snow <laughs> hopefully it, it apparently how it hits the mountain or whatever the, the winds Hopefully it misses that point and just dissolves. You can see the clouds. Uh, it's headed this way, but hopefully it just goes bye-bye and goes somewhere else and we can continue on with our visiting and t taking a tour of Colorado area, Denver, shopping. Where else are we going? We want to go to the Red Rock Auditorium, I think. Whatever that is, I don't know, but it's interesting. It just, it's just an eerie feeling being in downtown Denver. I can't say that I've been in downtown Milwaukee to compare it, but now I'm gonna go look because it's like life is just weird. You did not been downtown Milwaukee since the COVID. No, I have been, but not to yeah. walk around. Oh, okay. Not many times, but yeah, I have been. Today we're going to go to Castle Rock Outlet Mall. Uh, it's about 30 minutes from downtown Denver. And so Monashrock's, one of her twins, Nishan, lives in Denver and he suggested that we go shopping there. So we're gonna go check that out. We're trying to get out before the big snow is supposed to fall. Uh, hopefully that snow, so I watched some meteorologists explain but it depends on how I'm, I'm not claiming I understand how this storm works or that I am anything near a meteor meteorologist that's a hard word to say but it depends on how those winds hit the, the side of the mountain uh, and it'll determine the extent and the severity of the storm so we're hoping that it just completely bypasses us and we can continue sightseeing since we're here for such a short time um, we didn't plan on dealing with a snowstorm in the middle of March, but that is life. And from living in Wisconsin, we know sometimes all you have to do is wait five minutes and the, the temperature will change just like that. Very suddenly, very rapidly with a huge shift in temperature. So uh, same in Colorado, I'm sure to some extent. We are here at the uh, 
Castle Rock outlet and it's absolutely beautiful how they done quiet nice everybody's so polite so we are new everything is beautiful yeah. here we'll show you There's the mountains, you can see them. When we were driving, you couldn't see them because the storm was coming. So hopefully the storm is just gonna completely bypass this area so we can fly out safely on Sunday. So we're headed, we're going out to eat. It's uh, snowing, snowing in Colorado, but not as bad yet. Hopefully it won't be as bad as they predicted. We'll show you in a minute. And we're going to eat something. And it's cold. Woo! Oh my. Oh my gosh. It's, it's snowing. in my eyes. Getting <laughs> in my eyes. Oh, we left Wisconsin. It's 50 degrees today. My kids went mini golfing. And yeah. I'm in the snow. <laughs> my brother said it's in Wisconsin right now. Sunny and nice. And we came to get a sun and nice weather. Now look where we are. <laughs> We're going, we're going to a restaurant that Manushak's son, Nishan, recommended called the Mellow Mushroom. Mellow Mushroom. We're going to check out this pizza joint. Pizza Bakers. Yum. Can't wait. Very good, actually. It's a mushroom soup? Yes. Crazy mushroom soup. It's not psychedelic. <laughs> I asked already. If you're new to our channel, our channel is called Mama's House. And Manushak and I, we are two best friends who live next door to each other. We have been friends for over two decades, best friends for over two decades. We love traveling, we love gardening, we love, we have small hobby farms and we are homesteaders in the sense that we have our own animals. Uh, we have our own chickens, so we get our own eggs. Monoshock has a cow, so she has her own milk supply. We do organic gardening and so on and so forth. So join us on our many adventures and journeys. They don't necessarily just stay, the adventures aren't necessarily just at home. We absolutely love to travel, experience different foods, experience different cultures, different countries, different states, and so on. 